Different coach, same results. The Maslin Tigers maul the Warren G. Harding Raiders Friday night in Mollenkopf Stadium by the score of 45 to 14. Welcome, my friends, to another sports edition of the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel sports show. Sit back, relax. Let's talk some Ohio high school football. My friends, like I mentioned, Maslin Tigers go to 7-2 on the 2024 high school football campaign. Warren G. Harding, very respectful. Six wins and three losses. But my friends, like I said, another blowout victory for the Maslin Tigers. And this is now seven out of eight meetings that Maslin blew out the Warren G. Harding Raiders. Tigers wasted no time. Just 20 seconds into this game, 55-yard touchdown strike. Jalen Slaughter to All-State. Braylon Tolls, 7-0 Maslin. Maslin was able to get the ball back in the first half and kick a field goal. So at the end of one, first quarter, it was 10-0 Maslin. Now for me, you know, a hurting was still in this game, okay? You're just down 10-0, but... My friends, bottom line, you get behind by this Maslin Tigers team and Coach Nate Moore, it could be over very quickly. Start of the second quarter, Jameer Gamble. They're featured back, their workhorse all season long, wasting no time to get the scoring going in the second quarter. 21-yard touchdown catch from Jalen Slaughter, screen pass to Jameer Gamble, extra point good. 17-0. Gamble was not done yet. 24-yard touchdown scamper by Jameer Gamble. Extra point good. 24 to nothing. Harding was able to get a 30-yard touchdown strike from Chaz Coleman to Arias Coleman Bay right before half to cut into this lead somewhat. So they went to intermission into the locker room. Maslin leading 24 to seven. Gamble was not done yet. Third quarter, Gamble, 22-yard touchdown scamper, extra point good, 31 to seven. And what basically put the nils in the coffin here, 80-yard touchdown run by Gamble in the end of the third quarter made the score 38 to seven. Wow. Fourth quarter, Chaz Coleman managed to plunge in from a yard out to make the score 38-14 to and to close up shop for the Maslin Tigers, a 55-yard touchdown scamper by Xavier Owens to seal the deal. Maslin going on to pumble the Warren G. Harding Raiders 45-14. to My friends, I stopped and look at this. What a game by Jameer Gamble. This young man has been playing lights out all year long. <clears throat> 10 carries, <clears throat> 156 yards rushing, and three rushing touchdowns. Also tack on a receiving touchdown. This young man accounted for four touchdowns versus the Warren G. Harding Raiders Friday night. And let me tell you, Harding was only giving up a stingy 13 points to their opponents all season long until they face the Maslin Tigers. You know, Jalen Slaughter, another consistent performance for him. 11 out of 19 for 177 yards passing and two touchdowns. Slaughter also rushed three carries for 26 yards on the skilled set position players for Maslin, the receiving core, what can you say? Braylon Tolles led the team five grabs for 79 yards, receiving one touchdown. And Jaquez Carter, four grabs for 56 yards. My friends, these two standout receivers combined for nine rece receptions in this game. What more can you say? You know, Maslin, they've been playing lights out the past couple weeks. And there's no stopping this offense. You know, we're talking about a Jameer Gamble last week that rushed for five touchdowns against that legacy science Texas team and also rushed for 290 yards. So, 
you know, put this together, Jameer Gamble, four touchdowns against Harding and five against the Legacy Science team from Texas, nine touchdowns in just two weeks. Phenomenal play. What more can you say by Jameer Gamble? You know, when you look at this team, in all fairness to Harding, you just can't stop one or two guys. This is a tremendous football team. You know, it, there's one thing if Maslin was a team that only focused on the run, okay? Then you try to stop the run. Not the case, okay? Not the case at all. Maslin is definitely an offense that can beat you passing. They can beat you running. And you just can't focus on stopping one or two guys. And this is a big uh, problem that opponents have matching up with the Maslin Tigers, okay? You have to stop this team, not just a player or two. Because Maslin is so deep in the roster that they can continue to pluck out players that is going to hurt you. And Harding found out the hard way, without a doubt. Uh, Maslin outgained the Raiders. Maslin, in total offense, accumulated 411 yards of total offense to Harding's 215. Maslin averaged 10.3 yards per play to Warren G. Harding's 3.6. My friends... Not going to win too many games, only getting 3.6 yards per play. And once again, this was a defense for the Raiders that came into this game only giving up 13 points. So, you know, you knew something had to give, and it surely did. Uh, Chaz Coleman, not a bad game passing, 10 out of 16, but for only 69 yards. Chaz Coleman, 16 carries for just 47 yards and one touchdown. Uh, sophomore James Jones came off the bench, completed four out of eight for 72 yards passing. But my friends, like I mentioned, uh, receiving core areas, Coleman Bay, four grabs for 90 yards and one touchdown, and Marcus Crum Jr., four grabs for 16 yards. But my friends, bottom line, you know, uh, Harding was outmanned going into this game without a doubt, like I mentioned. We're talking about an offensive line for the Maslin Tigers that averaged something like 6'2", 6'3", 280 pounds. And I mentioned in my prior video, if Harding needed and wanted to win this game, they had to get pressure on <clears throat> Jalen Slaughter. And they had to stop the run. While, my friends, they couldn't do either. Okay, and like I mentioned, you know, the D-line for Harding, I said this was going to be a battle in the trenches. Maslin's O-line versus Harding's D-line. Maslin came out winners there, my friends, bottom line. You know, Har Harding could not get any pressure on Slaughter. Harding had many issues stopping Gamble and that, and that running attack for the Maslin Tigers. And obviously, you know, Maslin is the real deal this season. Now, we all know last year, Maslin won it all in Division II, beating the Akron Hoban Knights 7-2 to go to, uh, perfect 16-0 last year. This season, I'm, I'm just going to say, you know, Maslin right now is, is hitting their peaks, and they're peaking at the right time going into the playoffs pretty soon. But once again, my friends, you know, when you play a Maslin team, you got to stop the team per se. You cannot focus on, well, we're going to stop Gamble, or we're going to start Slaughter, or we're going to attempt to stop Tolls. This team is just too talented. You know, you got to bring your A game if you're going to be able to defeat the Maslin Tigers. Case closed. And, you know, when you mention Coach Nate Moore, what a splendid job he has done. He has beaten Harding now for the ninth straight time. He is 9-2 against the Warren G. Harding Raiders in his career as the Maslin head coach. And, uh, you know, like I'm saying, you know, certain teams peak at a certain time, and I think Maslin is peaking at the right time, heading into their last game of the year, Week 10, to their showdown versus Camp McKinley Bulldogs. You know I'll be doing a video about that game. So please, everybody out there, tune into that video. But once again, my friends... The Maslin Tigers Mall 
the Warren G. Harding Raiders by the score of 45 to 14. If you are new to my channel, Buckeye Vinny here welcomes you. If you're new for tuning in, please click on the subscribe button. Please click on the like button. And like always, please comment down below. Not just on this video, how you liked it, but what you felt about Maslin just controlling and dominating the Warren G. Harding Raiders from start to finish. Like always, my friends, peace out. God bless. This is all Buckeye Vinny has for today. Everybody have a safe and blessed weekend. I am out of here.